ッカーしてるとねそいつが出てきて言うんだゴールを奪えもっと踊れってでもあの時はさ怪物が言ったんだ潔にパスを出せってあいつの中にも怪物がいるって Just a little bit of a disclaimer here. When I say football, I'm referring to this sport. You know, the one where you use your foot to play a ball around trying to score goals. So, yeah, keep that in mind. For many years, football anime fans have been waiting for a sports anime about football. But up until this year, Aside from Captain Tsubasa, we had nothing that we can call a good football anime. Nothing memorable, at least. All the other major sports had at least one remarkable show for it, while football, arguably the most famous sport in the world, had nothing to represent it in the anime world. But this year alone, we have two whole shows about football Awashi and Blue Lock. And in this video, I want to talk about both of these shows and about the different ways they handle portraying football. Both stories start off similarly with both protagonists losing a school tournament match and then getting some kind of invite that might change their career. After that, you could see that Awashi goes in a more of a traditional direction with the story with Ashito joining a club, while Blue Lock goes in a unique direction with the whole, you know, Blue Lock project thing. I find the concept of Blue Lock really interesting. The idea of a government sponsored project to improve the country's future football team is a great concept for a sports anime. But a good concept isn't all that matters when telling a story, and how you implement that concept is fairly important for it to work out. As I mentioned earlier, Awashi has a traditional concept, but that doesn't mean that it's boring or uninteresting. That's because concept is not everything. There are a lot of important aspects that a sports anime must have for it to be good. And perhaps the most important aspect is. Alright, now it's time for me to rant. As I mentioned, for a sports anime to be good, it has to be realistic. And oh boy, is Blue Lock the opposite of that. To point out the obvious, the philosophy of Blue Lock goes in the complete opposite direction of what football is. Blue Lock tries to be unique by directly contradicting how football should be played, and that's by introducing this idea that in order to become the best striker, you have to become an egoist. While it is true that a lot of famous players have a massive ego, it's not because of that ego that they got better at the sport. Blue Lock also does something very stupid, and that's forming a football team out of 11 strikers. Not only is that stupid, but it also doesn't make any sense. If you're trying to build the best striker out of a pool of rough diamonds, you wouldn't want the majority of them to play in positions they've never played in before. It's almost like the author saw one of those clips where Ronaldinho or Messi dribbled past everyone in their way to score and was like, what if everyone on the team can do that? A team of just strikers is bound to succumb to chaos unless most of them give up on being a striker and just change positions entirely. The whole idea of blue lock is against teamwork, which in football, a team sport, would not work. And I think the author realized that because a couple more chapters in, we get introduced to this concept called chemical reactions that happen between players, or more specifically, players' egos, which is just teamwork, quoted in big words. And all of this alone makes Blue Lock very unrealistic, but believe it or not, 
there is more. In the second arc, they introduce uh, this guy, Lou Lockman, a fucking AI hologram that is trained on countless data of the world's best goalkeepers. You may ask yourself, how can a hologram touch the ball? Well, they inserted a micro sensor chip into the ball, which will sense if a collision happens between Blue Lockman and the ball, and then will simulate a rebound using physical weight. Do you see anything wrong here? Do you see the problem here? Well, let me help you a little bit. They fucking put extra weight in the ball that will change the way the ball feels and moves on the turf it's an entire different sport by then and i know that it's fictional and all but i still can't help but feel that this is just unnecessarily complicated if they wanted an ai goalkeeper they could have just looked at real life there is already a robotic goalkeeper model and it's very functional they could have just improved on this model and added their own flair but no they just had to make it complicated and go with the hologram thing. Also, I'm gonna glance over what's happening in the current arc because I've been rambling for too long and we still haven't talked about Ao Ashi. Ao Ashi's football is probably the most realistic animated football you can get. The way it's animated, the way it flows, the way goals are scored, the tactics. They all feel like you're actually watching people playing football. I could swear that some of these plays are traced frame by frame from real life plays. Also, I've watched 24 episodes of Ao Ashi and not once did anybody even try to make some kind of unrealistic super shot or anything. In Blue Lock, that happens way too often. Anyway, I rambled for way too long here. Let's get to the next point, which is... In Blue Lock, the characters are ironically the most realistic thing Blue Lock has to offer. And I say ironically because they are still a bit far from realistic. It's just that it's true that teenagers would be edgy in an environment like this. And the dialogue is often unintentionally hilarious, but sometimes it can get a bit weird. Oh yeah, here comes the dopamine. I'm gonna come, shit. That's the stuff. We've only tied the game. Don't play your load just yet. Also, if you're doing a sports show, it's probably not a good idea to have move slash ability names. It just ends up sounding cheesy as hell, like, what's wrong with just calling it Eagle Eye, like normal people? But hey, I'll give Blue Lock a point for the character design. I really like it. The art generally for Blue Lock is pretty good. The character expressions, the exaggerated metaphors, they all look cool. Keyword, look. On the flip side, Awashi's characters feel real. It really feels as if you're watching real people being passionate about a sport they like pouring blood, sweat, and tears, trying to become better. The main character, Ashito, is just a young boy trying to achieve a dream, trying to make his family happy, trying to be better at something by understanding every aspect of that thing, not by pulling out some ability mid-game, and I think we can all relate to that. Also, Awashi gets bonus points for a surprisingly decent romance subplot. I think most people by now will think that I despise Blue Lock, so let me just preface this. I do not hate Blue Lock. I'm just a little disappointed on how it turned out. 
it had the potential to become a really great show. And don't get me wrong, it's still a very enjoyable show. Just not in the sense of a sports anime, but more of a battle shonen anime. And for me, it's a guilty pleasure now. I love it. And as for Awaashi, I think it should be the icon of football when it comes to anime. And it also should be one of the pillars of sports anime in general. And for now, all that fills me is excitement for a hopeful second season. Thank you all so much for watching the video. If you like the video, a sub is very appreciated. And feel free to tell me down in the comments your thoughts on what I said. Also, I can't even begin to thank you all for all the support I got from the last video. Never would I have guessed that would happen, especially on such a sloppy video. But honestly, thank you all so much. It means the world.